joined with a friend, believe it or not, I actually have a friend. Imogen! And, and I didn't meet her on the internet. I, I, I'm like, I like to meet people in real life. <laughs> I don't think you've ever met someone you've met on the internet in real life, have you? I don't know, I don't know. So today we're just going to do like a general chatty discussion-y video. And we have some topics written down in case. So the first topic we want to talk about is borrowing books, like not necessarily from a library, like borrowing books from other people. I prefer to borrow it from other people because all my books from the library are always overdue. And when you go to public libraries, they always like charge mm. like two pound if you. But yeah. then at school, they just like send threatening things <laughs> yeah, through the register. Like... <laughs> yeah, and um, I I I don't often borrow books off friends. I will always have friends yeah. borrow off me but um, I don't like borrowing things though because when you know with books like the tiniest little like upturn of the, the cover yeah. and you're just like oh gosh I ruined it because <laughs> okay. like with the fault of our stars when you let me borrow it I was like literally like the, the well you have your own copy I'm not, I have my own copy now but I bought it for <laughs> and my mum was really impressed by that that you'd borrowed <laughs> yeah and I'm very strict when people borrow my books. Yeah, I'm I was like, going to put it in a, um, one of, you know them plastic folders? Oh, I'm, I'm buying them for when people borrow <laughs> my books. That's why the library do that. They put it in, like, you know them plastic wrapping. Yeah, because I'm very, I'm very um, aware of spine breaking. And I know this is an issue that bothers a lot of people here on Booktube. And I lent the mortal instruments to my friends, to my friend, and I was like, Kate. I've worked very hard to keep the spine of this book. Do not open it widely. Keep it at 90 degrees. 90 degrees is enough. Oh. And I was just like, use a bookmark. Don't you even think <laughs> about dog-earing the pages <laughs> or ruining the spine by going like that. I hate it when people do that. It bothers me. No, but in, in class all the time, um, you might not know James. They probably don't know James. <laughs> they don't know James. <laughs> but um, as it's boy called James a lot because they're like alphabetical order and he's alphabetically next to me. And he always takes the bookmark out of my um, book, but then he always like has the decency. Is that the word? Yeah. To remember the page number. Oh. So yeah, I can put it back in again. I'm like, What's the point? <laughs> but then one time I put my book in my bag and it was the um, the new one that I'd got the. Is it the abundance? The abundance? An abundance of Catherine um, by John Green. And then when I took it out, every page had been dog-eared. I'm like, I'm just like, is it a little elf jumped into my bag and done it on purpose? Uh, but I didn't do it. But I think it's just because like I got it caught on something. Oh, it happens a lot. I hate it when they accidentally like, dog eat the page. I was just like, <gasps> but remember when Alex started reading the Fault in Our Stars oh, and then she dog-eared the page. Yeah, you really annoyed her. And we would just like shout and be like, Alex, buy a bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so, are we finished with that topic, do you think? Do you have anything else to say? Oh, I've got one more thing to add to it. I had four books in my bag the other day. Not, 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 not subject books, like actual reading books. I had The Stolen Book by Lucy Christopher, The Hunger Games by Susanna... Suzanne Collins. Suzanne. She's bad with names. <laughs> um, John Green, The Fault in Our Stars, and then John Green, The Abundance of Catherine's. And then The, the Fault in Our Stars and The Abundance of Catherine's, the colours were so oh nice together. Oh my god, they, they look so cool. It looks so cool when you put your John Green really books together. Because I've got looking for a Lasker as well. It just looks so pretty. Oh, we could do that. Because I've got, I've got oh, in my bag. Oh, yeah, we can. We can Instagram it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We we're we're just like so people. Stuff. We can't open anything until it's photographed. <laughs> Yeah, because we've been sending, sending candy canes to each other at school, like on Mean Girls. And Faye still hasn't eaten hers yet, because yeah, I haven't it photographed yet. it yet. <laughs> right, and so the next topic we want to talk about is pressure to read. And now, most people on BookTube, when they talk about pressure to read, are talking about Goodreads and BookTube and book blogs in general. But something we wanted to add to that is this programme that we have at school called Accelerated Reader. Which, which I think they started when we started th school, They started like, when we started that which school. Which is really annoying. So what it is, is when you read books, if they have a quiz on the Accelerated Reader uh, site, you have to take a quiz on it, and you have to aim to do three quizzes a term, and it's like very like, often I'll read one of my own books instead and of the library won't read book, on the, it, and then if it's not on the programme, you can't the librarian the keeps pressuring me, being like, oh you haven't taken any quizzes, are you still reading? I'm like, yes I'm reading, I'm just not reading library <laughs> books. <laughs> Um, luckily most of the books you read are on there, but it's really annoying when they're not, yeah. and you're just like, I have read, I promise. And when I read, I kind of like, don't take it in, like it goes through one ear and out the other, and when you've got to take a quiz, I oh, always I get like, like, that, get like 20% really 
on the on the quiz when you're supposed to get one hundred percent. So my English teacher has had a big go at me. But then um, the librarian at our school, she always wears the same clothes every single day. Oh my god, she does. <laughs> like maybe her closet. Oh, it's like our, our history teacher. He like stocks up on those purple jumpers. He does, but they've got holes in his armpits. Yes, yeah, so he was like, I need to buy some more purple jumpers. <laughs> Um, and also there's the pressure to read with booktube because I remember when I first started it I was like I can't you had so many books you bought so many books because of booktube because like mm. your other recommendations mm. yeah um, I'm not as bad as a lot of people actually because you get people buying like 60 books a month and there's me like doing uh, 10 books over a collective book haul of 3 months I think that's mainly because I don't have a job but now my pocket money's been raised so I'm not bragging here, but I pocket money's been raised <laughs> clean the kitchen now I, I it didn't just get raised <laughs> like just for no reason um and so i'm gonna buy a lot more books mm, yeah because <laughs> i'd much rather spend my money on like clothes or um bath stuff or because i always like i'm quite a cheapskate when it comes to books because i never read a book again unless it's a really good book oh, do you like not i reread before that starts because i like mm -hmm. to look on clothes but i don't reread other books yeah my dad's like that um he only ever keeps books if he thinks i'll enjoy them and then he just gives them to me. He either throws them away or gives them to me. I'm like, Dad, don't throw them away. Just give them to the charity shop. They can be reused. They can be reloved. But I have a bookshelf <laughs> in my room, which I never realised it was a bookshelf until like three years ago. And I've had it for like all my life. And I've been just keeping like random bits and bobs on it. But now I've realised that I need to um, keep my books instead of taking them to the charity shop once I've read them. So it just like fills my bookshelf so it looks like I'm more reading than I am. Yeah. Move on to the next subject. Um, uh, this is the final subject we want to talk about. And that is inappropriate books. So, should we talk? Should we say how old we are, or is that a bit weird? No, because we're both same age. Okay, so we're both thirteen, and I my reading age is sixteen. Yours is about fifteen, isn't it? Fifteen, sixteen. So we've got quite high reading ages. So we don't want to read children's books. We want to read yeah. YA and adult books, and often they aren't appropriate. No. And unlike films on books, there's nothing to stop you reading a very violent mm. or sexual book. Yeah, because it's about in my past book that I read by by Lucy Christopher, um, it's called Stolen, and should I talk about that? <laughs> yeah, you can. And well, she got kidnapped by this man, and I thought he was gonna rape her. But then they turned into be really good friends, and then the police caught him, and then she didn't want him to go to prison because they like mm -hmm. had such a good friendship. Which I thought it, it could have nothing to stop you reading One Direction fan fiction. Yeah. I, I don't even like One Direction anymore, but I still love the fan fiction. Because. <laughs> She, the author could have turned it into an inappropriate story, but she kept it like nice and like did the total opposite to many authors would do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if people could do that, that's kind of like better because sometimes you like the book, but you really don't like the inappropriateness of it. Yeah, and um, with The Perks of Being a Wallflower, one of the most amazing books I've ever read, I lent it to a friend. So this is sort of going back to the borrowing books topic. And she was like, look, she was reading it and then she got to an inappropriate part and she's like, really, this is like really... I was just like, I know, I know, but it's still a good book. <laughs> and it was like really awkward because the main character is sort of like oblivious to everything in that kind of sense and then when he like discovers something and then my friend George is just like I'm afraid this is a bit weird <laughs> um, and then it, in the library at school you can't read the adult fiction you until read, you're over I think it's when you're in year 9 you can't read the adult yeah. you, until you, you can't read the adult fiction until you're like in year 9 and no one told me this and I got like three books from the adult section one time I took them to the librarian and she's like oh gosh I'm Jim gosh and like she had to like explain the whole thing to me. in the adult bit yeah i think it is caitlin was looking for it not that you know caitlin either oh no it's in family stories it's in, no it's in fiction it's in the fiction section oh, it be in fam oh yeah it could be in family stories couldn't it i wouldn't read it as a family it's not me it. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they do say family stories i don't think they mean like read them as a family i think I, I, in the, I, i've never the understood the, the book, family stories thing. i think it's about like families in the book I suppose it's the kind of thing like Monsters Inc or Toy Story or anything by Pixar. It's yeah. sort of a family film, the kind of thing you'd watch with your family. So it's sort of because like that. on Accelerated Reader, on the quizzes, it always says, how have you read this? And there's like the option, read independently, read in a group or read two. But it's kind of going to be like, oh, but we, should we tell them about the time we were going to do like a um, book club, but not do it together? Because we were going to buy the... Um, book thief weren't we oh yeah um you may have seen uh little book owl or katrina and uh, ariel Bassett's video on 
it wasn't even it wasn't even Katrina, it was um Raylene from Padfoot and Prong Seven, sorry. I get mixed up with them too. And um they did a video about reading with friends and they read books together and then they'd like say to each other, Ah, oh, we're gonna read a chapter now and then they'd talk about it afterwards and we were gonna do that with the book thief by Marcus Suzak. Um but like many of our ideas it didn't yeah because really i was the only one that actually owned a copy of yeah the book so have to buy it. <laughs> i mean we could reread the fault in our stars but yeah it's not really the same when it's a reread no, but I, I think uh, um, just us two should do that one day with the book yeah yeah and then we can review it yeah by camera so yeah i think that's about it yeah you've blown bubbles out of you oh god <laughs> I'm, I'm really bad with hot chocolate you just see the top it's like everywhere and um, so that's all for today uh, i think we should do this more often we should we and should. i'll be back very soon with another video that we're about to film so don't worry if we're wearing the same clothes we we, we don't wear the same clothes constantly no. this isn't so, even my jumper bye, -bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>